Good morning, my friends, and welcome to my garden. It is early morning here just outside of Boulder, Colorado. My name is Sherry, and it is always my honor and my privilege to bring you here into my garden and show you around a bit. I thought today we would do, with Labor Day just coming up here, the garden season is starting to wane down though you couldn't tell it by looking at the garden today. It has been a heck of a summer. Uh, we've had so many as I've shared in previous vlogs with you. We've had grasshoppers, we've had, oh, there's been so many things, but the garden survives. So I'm uh, looking forward to showing you around and um, having my coffee with you this morning and enjoying the pleasures of the late August garden. All right, let's go do it. All right, and as we start this tour this morning, a beautiful sunrise greets us as we make our way through. And I wanna remind you to subscribe to our channel and you will get notified when we have new videos out each week, but starting right along into the garden, here is our pansy lettuce bed, which I am just getting ready to get the fall crop going on that. And for those of you who have not been on the channel before, I do a lot of raised bed gardening in a variety of shapes and forms. This is a Vigo garden bed here that houses my Mexican sunflowers and um, the, of course there's Cosmos, there's loose strife. And I don't know if you've ever grown loose strife, get it in focus, there we go. And it's just a lovely flower that blooms most of the summer as well as the Mexican sunflowers. That's our field beyond that has been decimated with grasshoppers. We put up this metal fencing to help keep the grasshoppers out. My delphinians are doing another go around and some zinnias that I put in this bed as well. Just a small little, uh, I had some extra seeds, so I put them over there, my wildflower bed. And then this bed of zinnias has fought the good fight and the zinnias are doing really well after some grasshopper battles that um, have been going on all summer and um, they just look really, uh, they're really looking beautiful right now. Some marigolds, there's Luna and Abby, my beautiful girls. And my I concrete beds, these are the concrete beds that I have. My dahlias that are, again, fighting the good fight with the grasshoppers and Japanese beetles. And this one's just getting ready to bloom its bloom. Uh, some morning glories. I do love morning glories so much and they grow wild and abundant in the garden. Well, and then there's my poor Shasta daisies that between the heat and those grasshoppers, they really got annihilated this year. Last year, they grew until October. They bloomed. But as you can see this morning, I have a solo one there trying to make its way. And we've got quite a few sunflowers, volunteers. These are volunteers. And then our tomato bed, which we have gotten almost 100 tomatoes already off the bed. These are some cherries, some red pride. And I put some zinnias right here at the base, Thumbelina and Magic Carpet are these two different varieties that I planted here at the base. Love a little color and they seem to do really well here under the shade of our aspen tree. As, let's see if I get this in focus, there it is. Look at that white zinnia, I love that. But um, the grasshoppers have been in here too as of late, so I've gotta get in here and clean this up but it's been so abundant in the tomatoes and I absolutely love them. Uh, yeah, just more Abby. I don't know what Abby is looking for. She's looking for something in there. Black Eyed Susan's everywhere. So many things. This guy is so abundant along with uh, more and more sunflowers. I have been doing a lot of deadheading as of late 
and know there is a lot more to come. Now, unfortunately, my veggie bed right here has been pretty annihilated by the grasshoppers, so I'm not gonna share too much of that. It's one of my cleanups I've gotta do. And um, yeah, you can see with the pink of these guys that fall is definitely on the way. I planted these hookras this year in this bed because I have just fallen in love with the different colors that there are, the way they flower. Uh, it's just really uh, a lovely grouping. And this bed gets a lot of shade from up above, straight above is our ash tree, my onion flowers that I've got to get pulled out. They have finished up here. And again, here's this bed that has been annihilated by the grasshoppers. So I'm going to be getting this out over the Labor Day weekend and uh, cleaning this up because they have hurt it so much. And going back to the flowers, Luna is on the move this morning. <laughs> she wants something. I think she wants to go out. Uh, more zinnias. Isn't that a beautiful yellow of those zinnias? And um, uh, this lavender with the variegated base to it is really quite lovely. Cone flowers, I just love. And I've got milkweed that's coming about the same orange as that cone flower, and I can't wait till that does a rebloom here. It will be doing it in a few weeks. And these different cone flowers, echinacea, as it's also known, is also very lovely. Um, yeah, so that's the garden here today. Uh, looking back over towards the gazebo, we have gotten so much use out of the gazebo this summer. I just absolutely have loved it. There, We have our little pond in the back, which really attracts the birds. And um, I have pulled off these sunflowers, and it's really fun to watch the variety of birds that come and, and, and sit on that cage and eat that. My yarrow is pretty finished up, but look at this, more tomatoes. And what I wanna say, and nasturtium at the bottom of the tomatoes, is that, um, just a reminder that you don't need a huge garden, that, that these oak barrels work beautifully in growing tomatoes. I've got carrots growing in the sink. I actually have carrots flowering in the sink. The grasshoppers have been pretty um, nasty in this area as well, but uh, the I love the carrot flowers. The grasshoppers have totally annihilated my eggplant plant. Um, I've gotten some off. We just had eggplant parmesan just the other night. It was delicious. And then this is my pepper bed, which we've got. The serranos are doing exceptionally well. I seem to always do really good with serrano peppers. I did grow these from seed indoors, and we've got some Anaheims. First time I've ever grown Anaheims that I really, really, um, we've gotten so much off of it, and I like them because they're a little milder than the serranos. A couple of new beds that I put up that I've got just some lovely flowers growing in, and uh, the sunflowers that self-seed every year and um yeah just love it so that my friends in a nutshell again we got 15 people we extended this table 15 people just last week we had a big family event and it was just so awesome to share the gazebo with them and to do all of that so there we have luna is <laughs> still encouraging us to walk along so let's do it i would love to know what you what what have been some of your successes in your garden this summer what has meant the most to you as we look towards what we've if we're lucky like i'd said in the intro we have another six weeks six maybe eight weeks if we're super lucky look at my apple tree we have so many apples that have come already off the apple tree but we still have more apples coming um that I, I try to let them get as ripe as possible, but between the squirrels and the birds and all of that, it's a little difficult, but we're getting some that are turning red. So I, my fingers are crossed that there'll be still some left by the time we're ready to do the official harvest. My friends, 
what oh and one more thing here's our pond area and um just such a beautiful peaceful place for us to hang out in the garden and i hope that you have found many cool places to hang out in your garden as well as you start to wrap up for the summer but that is my garden this summer thanks for letting me share it with you and until next time luna and i wish you well again let me know your thoughts and away we go thanks for growing with us and we will see you next time and in the meantime be sure to like comment let us know what really resonated for you in this video and then of course be sure to subscribe at no cost to you and be updated when we have new videos up to play